Hey guys, Ryan Earnhardt here from creativesilentlab.tv. Today we have kind of an interesting comparison. We have kind of a shootout between two different drums with two different types of rims and at two different tunings. So I've been doing a lot of stuff with snare drums recently, and I just put out a course that's called How to Get a Great Snare Sound from a Cheap Drum. Here's the before and the after of what we actually do in the course. It's a great course, step by step, about how to really rebuild a drum from scratch. It's a great way to build up a snare collection for your studio. We have a shootout today where we have my Ludwig Superphonic against the Pork Pie BB or Bob. We have it with the uh, Diecast. We have it with the uh, Triple Flange. And we can compare the drums against each other. We can compare the drums against themselves, so the Superphonic with the Diecast versus with the Triple Flange, uh, the Pork Pie with the Diecast versus the Triple Flange. It's a pretty interesting comparison, and I try to do this real seamless so that um, really the only difference here is the actual samples. The mix is the same, the only difference is the variable. Okay, so you might have to go back, rewind a little bit if you want to compare the drum against itself with a different type of rim or a different tuning range. I thought the pork pie was actually quite amazing. I mean, I was really surprised. It's not a direct clone of a Black Beauty. It's a different shell construction. There's a seam in the pork pie, but it's no slouch. I mean, this thing sounds great. <laughs> so I, I was pretty impressed. In fact, there's certain scenarios here where I like it better than the Superphonic for sure. High tuning ranges, I think something about the brass shell, it, it's got this really nice chewy thickness to it. The Superphonic I think is better at low tuning, where this pork pie, uh, you know, Black Beauty type uh, drum is better at a high tuning range. And I'd say that that die cast rim suits it quite well. If without the die cast, I might go up to maybe an Emperor X head or something like a, even an Evans, uh, maybe a Genera Dry. Um, for my friend, we settled on the Evans Genera Dry for the situation that the drum usually is used in and it worked great uh, for him and his drum. And I think that in that situation, in a much smaller environment, smaller room, um, it really needs more muffling. It needs really something like an Evans HD dry head. So that's what we tried next. Here's what that sounds like.
let them know what you think of this. You know, I I know the Superphonic. I've had this drum as long as I've been playing drums. This is actually the snare that came with my first kit, but I've never heard it with a triple flange. And of course, I've never heard this pork pie with a die cast. So it was pretty interesting to swap the hoops on them to get to hear both drums with different arrangements and configurations. I'd love to know your thoughts. Be hanging out in the comments below.